In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate cut lines on a PNG file. So to bring in a PNG file uh, that is transparent, you can use the import here. Uh, I'll use this image here. And if I grab it and move it, you can see that it already has cut lines. So transparent PNG files will already have their cut lines. If um, you have a PNG that has a white background, then you're going to have to trace it, okay? So after you get your image in, what I'm gonna do is right click and ungroup, and then I'm gonna come over to my layers panel, and I'm going to choose my cut layer, and I'm gonna give that a color and I'm going to make it like a bright pink. So that way, um, let me go ahead and change this red to bright pink also. That way when I hover over it, it's also pink and not red. Okay, so, oops, let me undo that. All right, then I can go ahead and turn um, my image off. And as you can see, I have some nodes here and one here that is going to cut and if I turn my image back on I really don't want those to cut they're so tiny and it's going to cut a little hole in my shoe so to get rid of those I come over here I select my cut layer first and then I select my shape tool which is uh, it says to edit the nodes in an outline so I'll click on that and then just left click and drag around the ones that you want to delete. Now, if you can't get close enough to them, you can select them individually. Um, you can. <laughs> I swear you can. You have to have it selected here, though. That's the thing. Um, and then... I don't know why it keeps switching. But anyway... All right, so let's say I don't want this hole here to cut either. Um, I'll just go ahead and select all of those and delete that, okay? Now, with these nodes, you can, once you hover over them, see how my cursor, my cursor changes from um, a box to a move? So if I left click and hold that, I can move it anywhere I want. All right, but it's going to cut there. So um, I can also um, go to my pen tool, and once I hover over a line, you'll see that at the end of my cursor here, it has an X. If I get close to that line, it has a plus. So if I click on that, it just added a node there. So if I go back to my node tool, you can see that um, that node is there. Okay, I'll delete that. There is a pretty big space right here where there are no nodes. So I'll do that again. I will come to my um, draw tool and just wait, you know, hover over it until I see that plus sign and then click. And then when I go back, I have this node here. Okay, so I will just go ahead and select that and delete it because it doesn't belong. And then I can turn my image back on. So now you can see there's no pink around here. That's not going to cut. And that little spot up here is not going to cut. So uh, there's a lot you can do with editing nodes. I suggest that you, you know, work on that because there's going to be times where, you know, let's say there's some writing here and you don't want it there. Um, and it does have a cut line, then you can select it and delete it. And then you can write your own text or, you know, whatever. There's lots of scenarios where you need to edit nodes. And then when you're done, go ahead and select it and group it back. And then, you know, I have my cut lines minus, you know, that spot here and down here. You can see that's no longer there. And neither is this here, so that's not going to cut, okay? Um, when you're tracing, you can, you know, adjust your settings 
um, your details and your D speckles and stuff like that. I have a lot of videos on this trace window. Um, and there's also a crop here in the edit mode. Watch your nodes. Make sure you don't have 5,000 nodes. Um, you know, you can, uh, let me go ahead and ungroup this again and choose my cut layer. Let me turn this off. You can go to Path Simplify, and what that's going to do is, um, well, let's see, I didn't have it selected. Path Simplify, okay. So it's going to reduce the nodes from 278 down to 89. So if I click OK on that, I can see it didn't change much. It doesn't look distorted at all. If I turn this back on, turn it off, turn it on, you know, I'm just checking around as I'm going off and on to make sure that I don't have any um, cut lines that are way off of my um, image. And it looks good. So I just, you know, eliminated a lot of nodes. So that's a good thing to do as well. But, um, that's it as far as editing the nodes on a PNG file. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can find me in the Facebook group that's in the description of this video. Uh, thanks for watching.